by the ratings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov and this is the channel Viktor Fursov, entomologist beekeeper Ukraine. And today, November 6, 2016. And you see, I'm in apiary, apiary of Vasil Priyatilinka, my friend in Kalich, who just interested to show his apiary and tell different stories about his beehives and his very special frames. And by the way, today it's a little bit raining, but we already made some recording here, and I'm still interested to show you this autumn time review of apiary of Ukrainian beekeeper Vasil Priyatilenko. You can recognize here that bees already, of course, were inside beehives, because today just about 10 degrees, so they're not flying around. A little bit cold, definitely. And of course, I am very pleased to show you some kinds of beehives which were constructed, modified by Vasil Priyatilenko. And he said that during this year he already enlarged his apiary and his beekeeping farm includes approximately 60 beehives. Well, all of them were here, were colorated, as you can recognize, were painted. We're painted in colors of Ukrainian national flag, so they're really Ukrainian, and it's a good for bees. Uh, so honeybees, we can recognize it easily, and it's a little bit inspiration for Ukrainian beekeeper. And I showed already some beehives last year, but this year I was busy traveling and working in Turkey, and in Turkey Republic, beekeeping is very important. So. And beekeeping is very important in different countries. And by the way, we showed you construction of Vasil Priyatilenka beehive in last year. But this year I want to tell you a few words about this construction. You can recognize here that this beehive with different stories. And by the way, this is a multi-story beehive. This is original type, which includes two stories. Why two stories? Because they are prepared for overwintering. And oh, far away, over there, you can see also these three beehives with multi-stories beehives. First and second, or just first and second. And here two different types of frames. And by the way, this is a basement. This is a basement and what is important, this is a brood part of this beehive. I tell you a few words about construction. Today I will not open it, I will show you frames um, probably inside the house. But uh, this one, this is narrow, deep, narrow, deep frames here, already shallow frames. And by the way, during harvesting, we are kind of making here the third. The third overway will be super over this brood nest. Here will be brood. Initially, then we put here a basement, so the brood part is growing here in the center, here, and it will be very large uh, nest in first and second uh, stories altogether. So here, uh, beehive has uh, twelve frames. As I said, narrow deep, narrow deep here, eight frames. And inside the super, also eight frames. And the most important part, that crossed position of these frames. Here frames were like this, in this positioning, like this, parallel, eight frames. Here, twelve frames, like that, but crossed positioning, and here again, cross positioning of another eight frames in the top. But Vasil Priyatilinka uh, made uh, some changes during this year, and I am very pleased to show you this construction. This construction uh, very similar in shape and in size for Alps beehive. But construction is different. Shape is similar, but construction, what is inside? And what is inside? I can show you what is inside. Inside these type of frames. 
All right. Basement, very important. This is short about 10-15 centimeters in the basement. This is first story and the second. The most important, of course, this is second story. Because here we have, again, eight frames with narrow, deep frames. You see, narrow, deep. <coughs> and eight frames and eight frames here and eight frames inside the super. All together will be, you can see, 24, or 8, 8, 16, and 4 more, okay, 24 frames all together. And these frames here, like this, and in the basement, like that. Frames are different, different shape, different size. Shape similar, right? Size is different. Yes, this is small frame and this is very deep. Right. And of course, the construction of frame is the most important. The most important, this is uh, invention of Vasily Priatilinka. What is kind of uh, invention? Why? If you can watch here carefully, you can see here top, top bar. And this is top bar is not wooden, but metallic metallic and this is very special profile n shaped profile n shaped profile it's easy to do it's a simple construction but it was not easy to find it easy construction already it's uh, become making stable construction and also very useful for making the whole system of this beehive and why you say metallic Metallic, you say this is difficult. Not, it's not difficult if you have production. But also, uh, during these about nine years of experience, Vasil Priyadenko received good, very, very positive and effective results for keeping uh, beehives and for keeping uh, colonies of uh, honeybees. So that this construction really showed very positive results. And, yes, as I said here, eight frames in this position. So this is entrance. And here, in the second Biha, second story, position will be like that. And you can recognize that that position of this frame and frame down where, crossed positioning. And this is uh, unusual position. Usually in many beehives, in common, in ordinary beehives, positioning like that. Positioning like that. So all beehives parallel. And usually one story over there and next story over there uh, on the top. So they have a um, distance between usually between 20 or 30 centimeters, millimeters. Like this, millimeters, right. Approximately this different distance will be between first story and second one. But if we use it like that, here positioning is very special, special because frames, they put one frame must be put on the next frame and without honeybee space between frames. Yes, I'm sure to tell you this correct words without honey bee space between up store uh, frames and down stay, um, frames. Why? You can recognize here that I must put them just directly one on another. And this is very important because honey bees were developing in down story and then we're going up where. So between them we will construct with totally uh, mutual, mutual and united nest, united nest, and this is very important. So, first story and second must be united all together. And this provide natural construction of nest, yes. And it was proved <coughs> because honeybees doing it effectively, efficiently, and Actually, it really increased the health, health of this beehive and, be, uh, and the health of a honeybee colony. 
uh, because honeybees can control here. They can totally can control the positioning of brood inside, and they can control diseases inside, and they control here humidity. Also inside this united nest, as you can see here, first and second nest. Especially this smaller construction of uh, beehive realized that this a little bit more efficient, or much more efficient, I would say, because humidity is a little bit problem during overwintering honeybees. But in smaller beehive, the overwintering becoming better, because humidity is coming up, and on the top we can see small drops of water. But if beehive is smaller, humidity will be concentrated on the top in a very small amount. In some larger beehives, if beehive is a little bit too large, humidity more than in this construction of beehive with 8 frames and 8 frames all together, 16 frames. So, this is a peculiarity of uh, this smaller beehive. You can recognize this one and this one. And it's very useful to keep them all together uh, for overwintering. So, because honeybees will form here the nest inside approximately like this circle. In this circle they will survive during winter, winter time. But in Ukraine, as you know, winter is hard, so pretty cold. So that's why this very big uh, big frame like that will provide sufficient money, <laughs> not um, money, but sufficient amount, sufficient amount of food or honey like this for bee colony during winter time. So they will survive, they will live, and they will effectively overwinter during even cold winter. So thank you for watching. Some honeybees were just looking a little bit around. One honey bee just came out. Thank you for watching. I'm very pleased to show you some news and to show you again construction of this frame of Vasil Priyatilenko and looking forward to see you a subscriber on my channel. Subscribe to my channel, uh, write your comments, ask your questions, and I will be pleased to tell you answers. Oh, maybe uh, if you are interested to know more about this construction, I can provide you some publications which are already published in several journals in English language as well, so you can check the construction carefully and even you can make some orders requires for these beehives. They are produced uh, by Vasil Pratilenka and he's ready to sell it for interested beekeepers all around the world, even in other countries outside of Ukraine. So welcome to invest to Ukraine and Vasil Pratilenka will be very pleased to cooperate and develop his beekeeping business together with beekeepers and businessmen outside of Ukraine. So welcome to make business with Ukrainian beekeepers. So thank you for watching, look forward to see you as a subscriber, ask your questions and looking forward to see you again on my channel. Good luck and see you soon again watching my video about Ukrainian beehives. Good luck!